welcome to clickmyproject.com Our project title is Automating Online ISM Scheduling. Let's see the abstract. Our proposed system names as College Event Management System is very helpful for the event hosting colleges and participating students. College can register their information. Once they register their information, they can uh, get a login credentials. So using that, uh, they can apply for the event through online. So this system makes everything remotely and uh, very packet adaptive. So the additionally, quantitative and the quality of the data will be collected at uh, in the database and the outcome will be effective. The hosting colleges can filter the incoming applications and after finalizing the participation from the application, the hosting colleges can intimate the students through SMS. So this system will help the student inf information system Databases work simultaneously simultan semantically and will make easy the user to un order to manage all the student data. So our long term objective is to create a full featured learning system targeted for the academic environment. Let's see the flow diagram. Our flow diagram starts from the login session. The user can log into their account using the username and password. Once they log into their account, they can see uh, they, ha they, they may have the two dashboards one is for administrator and another one is for a user the administrator uh, dashboard uh, will be logged in by using the username as admin and password as admin so the user in the user dashboard the user can apply for the events so the user should first register the school information before applying for the students so once they register the school information they can uh, update their student details for applying the applying for the events also, they can add the staff details, that is, uh, some staff is uh, willing to participate with the events, which they can also add, on the, add the staffs. On the other hand, they are coming to the administrator. The administrator has the privileges to add and modify and delete all the details in our site. For example, the winners of the events, the event organizer and the events, and everything will be maintained by the admin. So all information will be generated as a report and stored in the database. Let's see the execution process. This is our home page. Here you can log into your account using user username and password. So first, if you if you don't have any account, means you can use the sign up option to register your school. So we already discussed that. Uh, first of all, we have to register our school information, and that using our school information, we can apply for the job apply for the so here you have to give the email address properly so the validation could be done everywhere so the students can participate only using this school uh, username and password so at first the school register with this site using and using the school information so they have to give the contact number username and password so the username is is user selections so they can give their own username but this username will be used to log into your account so once you register you will be redirected to the login page that is uh, that is your home page so at the top of the right you can see the how many people have visited this site uh, so here you can see the events and the student testimonial and everything so this is a bootstrap control so here I'm going to log into the register school information with the uh, with the register school information. So I'm going to sign in. So you need to give the proper info, uh, username and password. So the validation will be fully valid validated. So here I'm going to give the proper username and password. So you can see the error message when you give the proper invalid username and password. So here I'm giving the school name. So now you can see you have logged into your account using your school name that is a is a school name. And there you can see apply for events. This is this is this is the participation form for students. 
So the students in Gurudhanagar school can apply for the event using this username and password. So they have to give the student standard and once they, when they select an event date, they can see event time and once they choose the event time, they can see which event is going to turn on the particular time. So everything will be auto generated. So just you need to click the event, click the options, that's it. So one, one more thing, here we have uh, validated uh, their participation count, that is when a student try to misbehave, uh, like when a student try to apply for uh, more than 5 events, you can see the error message that you have exceeded the participate limit. So the student will not be allowed to attend more than 5 events at a particular date. So now we try that. So you can here you can see at a particular date uh, when you go in a student is uh, like uh, I'm going to choose so I'm going to choose date uh, 11 so in 11 there is uh, five uh, type of times and five type of events more than so when I'm going to so here you can see the exceeded the participation limit that is on a particular date on 11 when the student is trying to apply for more than 5 events means it will restrict the student so this is the participant participation form for staff so the staff can uh, use uh, use this uh, and apply for the staff participation details that is when your staff is uh, willing to coordinate with the students uh, for this for this uh, event means uh, he can uh, use this link so after that I'm going to log out uh, and the whole information will be maintained by an admin administrator of this website. So for the administrator panel the username and password is admin admin. So you can sign into your account. Uh, here you can see the manage your events option. So the manage your event option options contains all the student details uh, and uh, everything. So here you can see the details of the students and everything. So the school details. Uh, and uh, admin can manage the events like uh, add new events uh, and everything so you can see the student details that is when I click these details it will show which the details is uh, the student name and everything after that you can manage the events like uh, you can add edit and delete a new event so like this uh, you can you will you will get an option using this control this is a bootstrap control so the design part is very nice to view so you can also announce the winners list like uh, you can add a new record and simply select the event date and the event time will be generated and when it uh, select the event time and the event and the standard you can see the student name which were in that particular standard and you can just you have to give the price rewards that's it when you add this you can see uh, added details will be added so you can also add volunteers details uh, and uh, by using giving uh, by giving volunteer names uh, for a particular date uh, and you can add this detail so after that uh, you can log out the details thank you